Yes. Shri Kunni Krishnan, Director Satyajan Space Center, Dr. Shivan, Director of uh, Vikram Space Center, at minus one minute, fourteen seconds for the launch. यहाँ प्रमोशन स्थल पर मौसम बहुत ही साफ है और उड़ान के लिए अनुकूल है हम लॉन्च से सिर्फ एक मिनट की दूरी पर हैं यहाँ भूतल पर हवा काफी धीरे बह रही है यानी हवा का वेग उस मात्रा से कम है जिसके लिए यान को डिजाइन किया गया है इसी प्रकार वायुमंडल में भी हवा का वेग यान के अनुकूल है इसका तात्पर्य है कि हवा की गति आज सुबह तड़के सुबह से मापे जा रहे वायु वेग से कम बदल रही है लॉन्च के काफी नजदीक सिर्फ 35 मिनट दूर माइनस 35 सेकंड्स माइनस 30 सेकंड्स लुक्स लाइक लाइट शावर्स आउटसाइड रिएक्टर प्रोग्राम एक्टिवेटेड माइनस 25 सेकंड्स लिटिल ओवर कास्ट डाउन माइनस 20 सेकंड्स माइनस 20 सेकंड्स 15 सेकंड्स Minus 15, so we will have first the ignition of the RCT at minus 10, 3 seconds. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, RCT 1, ignition. 0, plus 1, plus 2, and plus 3, plus 4, plus yes, 5, plus 6, normal. 7, so we can lift off normal 8, with the ignition 9, of 4 solid stop ons and the core stage. Auto tracking. The vehicle is uh, majestically going to the atmosphere. 17 seconds into the plus flight. 20 now. Seconds. As I mentioned, this little overcast condition, little cloudy plus outside. 25 seconds. So we are not exactly able to see the vehicle. Is the vehicle. At 20 seconds plus into the flight. Seconds. And we heard the announcement the air lift has been ignited at a specified time of around 25 seconds. So now we have the vehicle with six solid star balls and the four motor going through the atmosphere. Plus and presently seconds. we are at 45 seconds and the altitude is Plus around 50 5 seconds. kilometers. The velocity of around Plus 55 is nearing 1 kilometer per second velocity. So Plus we have at 70 seconds the, the separation of the ground lead strap on which was ignited along with the four solid motor. We're just waiting for the announcement for the yes, ground lead strap on has been separated at 70 seconds. And the view of the time versus velocity plot, which very precisely shows the first stage performance is normal. First stage performance normal. And at 90 seconds, we will have the separation of the remaining two air lead strap ons, which were at 25 seconds. seconds into the flight. Air lead strap on separated. Yes, air lead strap on has been separated. And we will have the separation of the first stage happening at 110 seconds when the vehicle altitude will be around 110 kilometers. So right now we are at 71 kilometers. And uh, a close look at the PS1 flight parameters operated. shows the, the pre-flight and flight predictions are very close to nominal. Plus two minutes. So 122 seconds now. 94.8 kilometers. Second stage performance normal. So first stage separated 110 seconds and the second stage has ignited and the second stage performance is normal. So we will have the burning of the second stage going for almost 150 seconds. As I mentioned during the second stage of flight we will have uh, two important events. One will be the separation of the and payload the fairing which should happen in the next uh, four to five seconds, 150 seconds when the altitude is separated. Yes, uh, payload fairing has been separated. And uh, this will be followed by the initiation of the closed loop guidance algorithm, uh, which will uh, steer the vehicle right from the instant at which it has been initiated up to all the way up to the target conditions are met. So 165 seconds into the flight, the velocity is around 2.2 uh, kilometer per second. The vehicle has moved a distance of almost 150 kilometers from the launch base and the altitude is around 158 kilometers. Plus so as per the nominal sequence, we should have the separation of the second stage happening at 260 seconds which is roughly 80 seconds from now. Now, our Dutri Charan is doing our work. This is a Dravya Charan. And we have to do our own work with our own work and our own work. This is about 800 kilometers. Second stage performance is normal. And it will reach 150 seconds until the total of this work. You have to do 
ये इवेंट्स देख रहे हैं हम अपने स्क्रीन पर वो हम हमारे अनुवर्तन दूरमिति और दूरदेश नेटवर्क द्वारा लाया जा रहा है उड़ान के पथ की प्राप्ति करने के लिए हम विभिन्न भौगोलिक स्थानों पर स्थित भूकेंद्रों का अनुवर्तन दूरमति और दूरदेश के लिए उपयोग करते हैं पी एस के उड़ान के दौरान हम श्रीहरिकोटा तिरुवनंतपुरम और मॉरिशस भू केंद्रों का उपयोग करेंगे रॉकेट में लगे एंटनाओं के माध्यम से रॉकेट के पथ और स्वास्थ्य की जानकारी ये भू केंद्र प्राप्त करते हैं और यह जानकारी वास्तविक काल में श्रीहरिकोटा प्रेषित की जाती है इन्हीं प्राप्त जानकारियों को हम रॉकेट के उड़ान के समय आपको दिखा रहे हैं हम बहुत ही नज़दीक हैं द्वितीय चरण के पृथककरण और तृतीय चरण के प्रज्वलन के पास so 263 seconds and we just had the announcement the second stage of the PSLV C36 has been separated at an altitude of around uh, 290 kilometers and third stage has been successfully ignited as you are aware the third stage of the rocket is the solid stage with the uh, 7 tons of propellant will burn for nearly 110 seconds normal and uh, after the burn out of the third stage it will continue to go together with the fourth stage Uh, till the thrust of the third stage uh, totally dies down and uh, after that the th third stage will be separated from fourth stage followed by Plus the ignition of the fourth stage so we are at 300 seconds and if you look at the the flight parameters which is basically the velocity on the y axis and on the x axis we have the time scale the red curve shows the pre flight and the one the green one is the one which we are getting the telemetry from the launcher as in the flight a very close match with respect to the pre flight and the the flight parameters that we are achieving in the flight now so 320 seconds and uh, vehicle is at an altitude of 360 the resource side 2a mission being a 817 km sun sink orbit the trajectory is a little bit steeper than the the usual missions that we had earlier during this year which is in an orbit of around 500 km where the satellite has to be ejected around that altitude normal and this mission being 817 km the trajectory during the second phase of flight itself is little bit steeper now so 350 seconds and uh, 5.2 km velocity uh, maybe we'll any time here the burn out of the third stage followed by a coasting of nearly uh, 144 seconds before we have the ignition of the the fourth stage so nominally after the burn out of the third stage the separation should happen at uh, 520 seconds so we are roughly Uh, at uh, 375 seconds view of the mission control center some of the executives chairman isro uh, having a look at the the flight parameters and the performance of the third stage in the flight all going nominal and uh, as per the pre flight uh, uh, preparation the ps3 separation should happen at 520 km seconds at 620 km altitude at the velocity of around 5.7 and the ps4 ignition should happen immediately 10 seconds after that so almost 400 seconds of flight with a velocity of around 6 uh, kilometers and the final injection velocity that we are looking at is around 7.5 km per second when the resource side to a reaches into a orbit of 817 km plus 7 minutes so we just are waiting for the announcement of the ps3 burnout followed by the separation of the ps3 at 520 seconds the ps3 has burnt out maybe another it's right now it's in the coasting phase during the third and fourth stage in the next 100 seconds we will hear the announcement for the separation of the third stage from the ps4 udan se 440 second beech chuke hain hum 535 km unchai par aa chuke hain aur abhi filhal yaan ki nishakti udan yani no thrust coasting zone chal raha hai ya coasting zone udan ke paripath ke designers ko बहुत ही एक सर्वोत्तम अवधि चुनने का मौका देती है जिससे कि हम विभिन्न प्रकारों के कक्षीय अवस्थाओं को इष्टम इष्टतम रूप से प्राप्त कर सकें इस अभियान में एक सौ सेकंड का कोस्ट है जिसमें कि एक सेकंड तक तृतीय चतुर्थ चरण साथ साथ चलेंगे और चतुर्थ चरण के केवल 10 सेकंड चतुर्थ चरण के प्रज्वलन से केवल दस सेकेंड पहले तृतीय चरण को अलग किया जाएगा जो कि अब करीब तीस सेकेंड के अंदर होना चाहिए उड़ान के अंत में कोस्ट के अंत में हम मोशन ठंड से 521 सेकंड पर होंगे और इडवान की गति करीब 5.72 किलोमीटर प्रति सेकंड की होगी और यान धरती से करीब करीब 575 किलोमीटर की ऊंचाई पर होगा हम काफ़ी नज़दीक हैं किसी भी क्षण आप सुनेंगे कि तृतीय चरण को पृथक कर दिया गया है 
और चतुर्थ चरण का इग्निशन किया जाएगा सो फाइव हंड्रेड एंड थर्टी सेकेंड्स अनदर एटीन सेकेंड्स एज पर दी प्री फ्लाइट प्रोटेक्शन फॉर द सेपरेशन ऑफ द पी एस थ्री फ्रॉम द पी एस फोर बट एस आई टोल्ड यू डूर इन द सेकेंड थर्ड स्टेज एंड फोर्थ स्टेज फ्लाइट वी है Uh, so the timings are basically decided by the onboard computer, and we just now heard the announcement: the third stage had been separated at 523 seconds. PS4 engine and uh, 10 seconds later, PS4 engine also has been That's ignited. Now, I'll just wait for the announcement for the performance of the PS4. So we reached almost uh, 650 kilometers. And the range parameter that is shown on your screen is 1,770 kilometers. Basically, is an indication of how far the launcher, the upper stage, has moved from the present station coordinate at Sri Hari Kota. Fourth stage performance normal. Yes, the fourth stage performance is normal, and we will have a burn time of nearly 500 seconds of the PS4 stage before it reaches the target conditions, where as per the pre-flight predictions. The timing the cut off should happen at uh, 1028 seconds which is nearly 450 seconds from now and uh, vehicle should attain an altitude of around 826 kilometers and a velocity around 7.4 so we are very close to 6 km per second velocity the vehicle is uh, going right now with so we have another 1.4 km per second velocity to be imparted and this is a view of the altitude plot on the y axis we have the altitude x axis is the range and the red curve shows the pre flight prediction and the green one is the one which is where the vehicle is presently flying and on the right side of your screen you have the ground trace the ground trace the way the vehicle has gone from the sri harikota range going southward it has crossed the equator and the injection this orbit being a sun synchronous orbit the injection will happen with an inclination of almost 98 degrees around the poles so we are at 2100 uh, km range altitude 727 Kilometers, another four uh, hundred seconds to go. Just a quick update of some of the major highlights of this uh, C thirty six mission. As I mentioned, the resource side two A is uh, is the primary passenger, and uh, there are no secondary co passenger as such in this mission. Uh, as far as the international customer satellites are concerned, the major reason being the altitude being too high in the altitude of around eight hundred seventeen kilometers, which is generally not the preferred orbit as far as the smaller nano satellite uh, satellites are concerned. So we have utilized this opportunity to to fly some of the the payloads which are developed in house within ISRO. And uh, if you look at some of the changes that has been done, basically, is one important change as far as the launcher is concerned is the induction of the remote umbilical filling of four stage of rocket, thereby providing a better safety feature and also advantages in terms of time saving of the overall launch phase countdown. As I mentioned, we had only 36 hours countdown even for the PSL XL vehicle here. So we have the mission control center, uh, almost 700 seconds into the flight, maybe around 300 seconds to go. the Both the second aspect is the the armor. secondary payload in this mission uh, is the several newer avionics packages are being carried in a piggyback mode basically for demonstrating its uh, flight performance and uh, some of the newer piggyback elements are the miniaturized uh, advanced inertial navigation system also called as mini ains which will minutes. provide improved injection accuracies and uh, better redundancy management and also improved mass and uh, a power saving advantage for future mission so basically what we are planning to fly as a piggyback payload in this mission is the is only in the standby mode in addition there are some advanced micro electromechanical mems based smart sensors which are again being flown in a piggyback mode for its performance evaluation another interesting thing if you look at the screen now so we are at uh, 745 seconds and the pre flight flight numbers gives a very good indication of how the vehicle is presently moving through Another interesting feature in this mission is the the induction of five video imaging cameras. You know, the, generally all the staging events where we have the separation of the maybe it's a separation of the strap-ons or the first stage, second stage of the satellite. It's always very interesting to capture these images from space. So we have inducted five video imaging cameras for capturing the rocket stage separation events, namely the strap-on, first stage, payload fairing, second stage, third That's stage, and the satellite minutes. separation. I think once the mission is done, once we get the video feed of this, it will be really interesting to see how the separation has eventually happened in space based on the prediction that they have made it in the ground. So we are uh, almost at 810 seconds, uh, a very close match, and the velocity is 6.4, another one kilometer per second velocity is uh, basically required. to put the spacecraft in its designated orbit as i mentioned it's around 7.4 km per second 
and in terms of the range uh, which is not a very significant factor but it gives an indication how far the the rocket has moved from the launch base it's around 3200 kilometers and uh, the vehicle has almost reached an altitude of around 806 which is very close to the injection altitude so from now on for the next 150 to 200 seconds i would say the the trajectory will be quite shallow maybe it's a flat trajectory where the by holding the altitude we are able to inject more and more velocity and thereby reaching the target orbit condition That's 14 minutes. so the orbit injection velocity should be around 7.4 and the orbit that the satellite should reach is around 817 kilometer with an inclination of around 98 degrees